Well, today we got a lot of action going on in Heiko. We're uh, paving out here. We're not paving just for fun. This pit in the ground over here is going to end up being our, our silage storage. So last year here on the farm, we uh, put all the silage in plastic bags that were like 12 foot diameter. And so we had four big plastic bags here. And this uh, pit is going to replace that. Um, when we're done, we'll have cement sides on each side 10 feet high. And then this pit will be 50 feet wide by 300 feet long. Should be 180,000 cubic feet and store 6,000 tons of silage. So there's a lot of estimating there on how tight we can pack it and, and other things. But um, anyway, we, we didn't like the plastic last year. We, we had a lot of waste and a lot of plastic around the farm. And uh, this way, we're doing it, and it's a big upfront cost, but it's like uh, using a hydro flask versus a water bottle. This, this will be here forever, and we'll, we'll not have to use the plastic anymore. And so we'll recoup our costs year over year, um, and, and hopefully it's, it's better for us and everybody involved because of that. And so, yeah, we're just trying to de de design this where we can pack the silage in there really tight where there no air gets to it. Um, we have to have those, those uh, anaerobic bugs that work and ensile it. Um, so there's a fine balance in silage between creating something that spoils and creating something that cures anaerobically through the microbes that's a great feed for the cattle. And so that's what this project is today. It's the first step in that. Um, Wells Cargo's here out of Las Vegas and paving it. Um, big crew, lots of trucks. Um, but these cement blocks is what we'll build the sidewalls out of. Um, and we'll just put them five, five high and 300 feet long. So about 500 of these blocks is what we'll build the sides out of. Um, it'll end up being 10 foot walls. And then we'll backfill the backside of them with dirt. It'll look pretty good, I think. Um, and then kind of the silage in the middle will peak up a little beyond that. We can go a lot higher than what those walls are. But uh, we're, we're pretty excited. It's a big, big project, but uh, we got a month to get it done until the silage is rolling in here. So we're on a timeline too. <laughs> Soaring it in those bags as tight as they can get it in there is really good. But when you have the plastic, like a big old sausage wrapper, clear around it and underneath, it's really hard to get get that out of there without snagging the plastic. Um, almost any farm or ranch that you talk to that uses those bags, um, it, it, it takes a lot of care, <laughs> and and they always are fighting it. It's just it's a hard it's a hard thing with those those plastic bags. And so the black plastic bags are generally kind of a, a temporary option, or if, if your field is farther from your main headquarters. But if you're going to be in this for the long run and um, your, your fields are relatively close to where you can store it, then doing something permanent like this is, is the best option. We have 240 acres of corn. If you look right down there, there's our farthest south corn field that's um, on the Cannon Pivot. And then going to the north, we have Pivot 3 and Pivot 4 and Pivot 8 all in corn. And so they'll chop that and funnel all that corn into here. Um, how many asphalt trucks and stuff are running out around here? How busy it is today laying asphalt? That's what it feels like when they start chopping corn. There's just trucks flying through here. And where these rollers are parked is where they'll unload. But the trucks will pull across here, and back up and just dump it right there. And then we'll have to push it with loaders down the full length of the pit. And you do that just to get the height, the elevation, and also um, to pack it. The more you're just working it and running over it, uh, we're just keep packing that silage uh, real tight. Um, so anyway, there, there's different ways that we could have done this. We could have done it just on a flat pad and build like a pyramid sized pile. But our choice to put it in like a pit with walls has to do with getting away from more plastic again. Um, and some, some of that's environmental and some of it's labor. Who wants to mess with plastic when you can just build walls and deal with cement, right? <laughs>